Hello everyone. We will continue working on 2017 uh, DOD database. This is the database we use for Kenyatta's dissertation. We want to move forward and do more data cleaning and get the data ready for publication. So I created another folder. Uh, I named it as Logitech after dissertation. I'll copy this last revised data set that was used that was used for Kenyatta's dissertation, and I'll paste it here. So here, let me rename it to six instead of five. So we'll do that uh, just to speed up. Let me open another one. Yeah, let's close this one. I will call it six and then open this one. So now what we want to do is we have many different categories for uh, soldiers. Uh, some are enlisted, some are commissioned officers. So so details you can see in my earlier videos. So here I will not go into very much detail, but uh, these two are enlisted soldiers. So we call it enlisted personnel. And these two are includes commissioned officers and warrant officers, and they make more money than enlisted uh, personnel. So we want to just create two categories instead of four. We'll call it enlisted personal and we we call it another one uh, commissioned or warrant officer so let's do that and these four variables we are created out of this variable x pay uh, grade okay so for, for i already done this before so i will just tell you that it has four possible values one two five one two three and five there is no four so one two three and five. So if this uh, has a value of one and two, that means uh, if it is one, then we're talking about enlisted uh, soldiers one through four. If it is two, then we are talking about enlisted soldiers five through nine. If it is uh, three, then we're talking about warrant officers one through five and commissioned officers one, two through three. And if this is five, we're talking about commissioned officers four through six, and they've made most money. So it's increasing order. Uh, they make least money, E1, E4, then next higher is E5, E9, and the next higher is warrant officers one through five and O1 through O3, and then highest is O4, O6. So we want to do that. So we, I'll be using this particular variable to create new variables. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll insert here, I'll call it. Okay. So now, and then I'll create another one here. Commission. Okay, so we created this two. Initially, they will have all missing values. So if you go here, they're all missing values. So we go to analyze data, re transform, and re go into same variable. And we'll show the variable names here. So I want to re code this one. And if include cases where let's say this value equals one or plus two. So if they are one and two, that means we are talking about enlisted personnel from one through nine. So E1 to E1 through E9. So we'll continue this one. 
okay and old value we know that currently we have system missing and i want to replace that with one okay so i would like to go to the paste here and we'll uh, we'll indent the syntax here i'll copy this one and paste it here i'll call it else if it is let's say three or five we're going to replace system missing with zero okay and you'll see that in action let's say i just minimize this one and this one right so let's say descending here so we'll see some values here so we'll add this one and okay so the code has been executed and let's see so one and he here one and two should be coded as one here and listed personal so if you go down here so this is uh see two starting just to show you uh that So starting two here, so we have one here, okay? And before that, we all had zero. So if it is three and five, because we don't have any four, if, we, if this X pay grade is three or five and listed personal value is zero, otherwise, if this is one and two, this is going to be one and listed personal is going to be one. So you can do that, okay? So it's done, uh, I did not, Erase my code because I will need that again. Recoding to same variable. This time, I want to do it. This variable. Uh, if this is let's say three or five. Continue. Yeah. So system missing equals to one. Okay. Okay, so let's delete this one and say else if this is one and two. We want to replace it with zero. Okay. And you will see that here in action. So let's do that. Okay. So we'll see the values popping up here. Oops. here so you'll see the values popping up here so it's all one here right okay so if it is five or three you'll see one there otherwise it's going to be all zero so i just wanted to demo how to use uh do if else here to record into new declarative variable. Thank you very much for listening.